Oh, the music here is sick. Sin wave. Some deep house techno, whatever that is. I'm loving it. Another memory chip. I'm the delivery driver. I have your package. You're not Carmine. He used to run my packages. He retired. Retired, eh? You know who I am, driver. Lomo? That's right. You bring me packages. No questions. No mistakes. We'll be friends. If you let me down, probably not. I understand. What's your name? Rania. Well, Rania, I have some advice for you. You want to hear it? <sighs> sure. You got a don't fuck with me look on your face. But those are some clean hands. In the city, you've got to adapt quick. All the shit in the world ends up in the sea, but we still swim in it. If you dilute anything enough, it becomes tolerable. You hear what I'm saying? Uh, no, not really. Not really. <laughs> the city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. You make a million choices a day to survive in Nevalas, and some of those choices are gonna hurt folks. You ain't got time to think about that. You just keep moving. Understand? I think so. All right. Get going then, Rania. Cora willing, you might just make it through the night. All right, but just make sure you make the decisions that favor Lomo there, right? Nice going, DJ. You got it going. Oh, how do I... What the fuck? How do I leave the nightclub? Oh. Uh. Oh, wait. There's the exits. For some reason, I thought it was the wall. Camus, you there? Yes, I'm here. Camus, people keep mentioning Cora. What is it? Not sure. Just an expression? Yeah, I get that, but it must come from somewhere. Do a basic search through Open Web and Pub Web. Searching. 872 different definitions for Cora. Just give me the gist. In the city of Nivalis, Cora can be used in common parlance to refer to the personification of luck or fate. Can be uttered as a blessing or a curse. Can refer to the hacker collective or cult of the same name. Can be an expletive or used as a noun to refer to the AI governing specific aspects of logistics. Theology, sociology, or infrastructure of city operation. In historical context, can refer to the... Okay, that's plenty. You know, you really need to learn a bit about the word relevance, chemist. Yeah. Should I look it up? Wait, we have an incoming call. Kid, you there? Ready for another job? Hells, yeah, sure boss. Thing. Hey, Control, what is Cora? Cora, uh, a code word used by hackers, an, an anarchist group, an expression for when you're tired of shit. Why do you ask? It doesn't matter. Just give me my next job. You're delivering to an unsanctioned street race, so watch out for Corpsec. Oh, nice. Some street a race. Drive converter from Emmett's garage. Your delivery target is Never Slow Joe. Control out. <laughs> Never Slow Joe. Uh, yes, completely the wrong direction, fuck's sake. Here. Chemist, I want you to do a deep search for Cora. Not mainstream corp networks. Hit the deep net and the undernet. Is it important? I don't know. I see it everywhere. And there was something about Control's reaction. It means something to him. Won't we get in trouble? Oh, my head. I don't feel good. Just you do it, damn it. Head, chemist. You're running on a low clock speed processor, so that's why you're struggling. Take yourself offline while you do the search. I'll be okay without you for a while. You need to swim. You remember how to do that? 
You need to copy yourself into the other networks and travel upstream. I remember. She's telling her. Looking for Korra, <laughs> telling the AI how to what do his data, job. Where did the name come from? That's your focus. I will try. Going now. Camus Automata now offline. Uh, this is Emmett. I'm here to collect a driver converter. Drive converter? Sure. You don't know what it is, do you? Nope. It regulates the hydraulic output of the water tanks. It wears out fast, but without it, you got no grav lift. The sump builds up residue from the runoff because we got no clean water down here no more. Only the fancy overcloud hovas can run without a drive converter because they use pure H2O. You're not listening, are you? I think they need this pretty quickly. You're right, they do. You better get going. What do they do with it when they get it? They don't mess around with it. That's the main thing they do, or don't do. Once they stick the drive converter in the universal maintenance slot under the passenger seat, the servitors will fit it in on the fly. Unless they've got an old manual, in which case, you know what? Never mind. I know you're not interested. I'll let you go. See you around, kid. Alright, uh, cheers, Emmett. Uh, that's pretty interesting to know that uh, these cars all run on water. Even though that. Oh my days! Uh, even though that water is dirty, but still. I mean, it, it makes sense, because uh, water is the most abundant uh, uh, resource we have on Earth, so. I mean, at least I think it is. Maybe solar energy, but... Alright, so how do I... Do I just go up here? Where is Never Slow Joe? Oh, are there they part are. part of the race? I've got a drive converter for him. They went already. I'm the start line. <laughs> Can I head them off? I'm really just here to wave them off, miss. Damn it. Control, are you on the comm? What do I do? The race has already started. I'm here. Joe won't get far without that part. I'm giving you a nav point. Seems like he might have broken down already. Oh, nice. Seriously? You have to complete this job. Remember what we told you when you signed up? No failures. Without that part, he's not even going to be able to land safely. Get to him as fast as you can. I'm here. I'm not much of a racer. I'll try. You can do this, kid. Remember, straight roads are for fast cars, but the city is for fast drivers. Oh, wait. Okay, he's up there somewhere. Oh, look at this the graffiti. The Grow Grow and Club. Okay. A rare videotape game. Uh. I think this is some kind of ancient storage medium. The front cover has some guys in old-fashioned clothes fighting each other. It's pretty well preserved. Maybe some collector threw out by mistake? Maybe. Okay, it's probably in his car, broken down somewhere. Never slow Joe, but sometimes broken down. Okay, let me see if I can find him. Oh, there he is. Oh, toot. Uh, how do I get to you? What the fuck? Is there a parking spot somewhere here? Do I... I need to get the lift. Damn, dude. All right. Uh, park the car, yeah. Okay, just need to get on these, uh, one of these lifts, I guess. Just hang in there, slow Joe. Sorry, never slow Joe. We're going 
can I call the... Can I call the lift? No, the lift is up there. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, it seems like it's down here now. Hold up. Can I get the lift to come down here? Maybe? Guess not. Oh! It's here, it's here! Oh, quickly! Hi Joe, I'm here. Don't you worry, you can get back in the race. Get back to the race in the jiffy. Are you never slow, Joe? No, I am currently very slow, Joe. You got my converter? Yeah. Thanks, Cloudpunk. I'm gonna give you this old one. It's busted, but if you get it back to Emmett, he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limps. These converters are worth a lot of money? They sure are. I owe Emmett, so you make sure it gets back to him safe here. Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get it back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you drive around the city in that piece of junk. Ah, right, watch You're it, buddy. Than me, kid. What do they call you? Rania. Ah, that's no good. My name's no good? What do you suggest? On the run, Rania. What do you think? Meh. I like it. All right. On the run, Rania. I gotta go. I've got a race to win. I'll see you around. I'd prefer just on the run, yeah. <laughs> that makes much more sense. Easier to say as well. Please remember that unlicensed jazz in Nivalis is punishable by death. Those who wish to experience or perform jazz must apply for a yearly permit. Uh, what was this here? Hold cash. I am back. Did you hear all of that? Oh, I, mean, I don't know if they said On the run, Rania? I don't like it. He's a racer, not a poet, Camus. Are you going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? I'm not sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. If I give this part back to Emmett to settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So. Are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man? Or take it to the Mr. Emmett mechanic man? I'm gonna take it to Emmett. Why would I... Give it to someone else? Uh... A corpse flyer, another one of these. That's... So we can sell it or give it to him. Yeah, I will just give it to him. I mean, uh, I could use the money. Let's see if I can get this lift in time. Stay right there. Hmm. Maybe we'll just sell it. I don't know, the other guy was kind of adamant we, uh, we would sell it to him. Uh, give back, give it back to Emmett. So I'll do that. I want to be happy with these people so they'll keep do giving me jobs. Hey, Tico, right? Did you have any luck finding... Nari? No, I don't know what to do. 
When did you last see her? I don't know how to answer that question. Months? Years? Uh... You don't know? So where did you last see her? Back in Tokyo, during the Sakura, we had a picnic in the park. Tokyo? Sorry, I don't know the city very well. Is that below Midtown? It is a different city. You mean like a different district? When I last saw her, it was not in Nivellis. Sorry, Tico, I think you might be getting confused. There is only Nivellis. Everything west is just townships and settlements. There are no more cities. This is it. We grew up together. I've known her since I was 13. Tico, that must have been a very long time ago. I don't really understand when people talk like that. You don't understand what? Time? When people say the feelings are from long ago, they don't change. The people you cared about when you were young, have those feelings gone away? I guess not, but some of them aren't around to love anymore. I don't understand. We sat under the cherry blossoms. She ate fresh strawberries, and we watched the sun rise together every day through the summer. Then one day the sun rose, and it was too bright, far too bright. Her family said they would have to move away. I think your memories go back very far, Tico. Nari and I grew up together. Even after the big sunrise when she moved away, all I wanted was to see her again. When she left, it was like I didn't exist anymore. When she moved to Tokyo, we would see each other less and less often. Then, one day... It is not fair. I moved here from far away, too. I know how you feel. Are you alone here, too? Not quite. I have one friend. Maybe two. I have to keep looking for Nari. She might be looking for me, too. Where will you go next? I have heard people live in the thermal vents where they use the steam to stay alive. I will look for Nari there. She always liked the bathhouses. That sounds like a good plan. Do you think the vents will be like the bathhouses back in our village? I don't think so, Tico. But you never know. Man, this guy is giving me such a heartbreak. The emotion in his voice as he tries to find his, uh, his friends. Damn. It's really, really heartbreaking. Nice voice acting. Very nice. Alright, let's go sell the broken driver converter. Let's get me some mullah. Do you buy these? It's a drive converter. I don't need it. Well, sure. I'll give you a good price, lady. Uh, how about 500? Oh, damn. That sounds like... All right. Okay, the amount of money. We are supposed to pay off Joe's debt. You gave the part to the wrong mechanic man. We got paid for it, and now Joe will stop racing. Did you do it to help Joe? Well... I did it to help all three of us. I mean, maybe he won't like that, but, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know, maybe he won't like that, I don't know. Speed booter, 950, we could buy this now. I thought it was 800 before. Oh, yeah. There we go. Speed I found boost. Out more about Cora. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. Do I need to equip it or? Another job? No, if you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first. Oh, we just need to use A to activate this. Jesus Christ, watch it, buddy. We're going way too fast right now. 
I mean, it seems like it's... Oh, uh, no, we... okay. I was gonna say, it seems like it's activated pretty much all the time. Okay, get ourselves a coffee. Do we consume a lot more um, fuel by doing this? Not sure. Let's just let's uh, refill, shall we? Let's back up here a bit. There we go. All oh, right, I don't have any more money. Shit. <laughs> That's fine. I'm sure we'll get some soon enough. I do have a bunch of crap I can sell, though. So there's always that. Jesus, gotta watch out here. <laughs> These are the waterworks. Okay, and where can we find parking space? Right here. Corpse, a uh, corpse clerk. Ma'am, have you found anything of interest? Can't say that I have. Well, if you find anything suspicious, bring it to me. Uh, sure. Dynamite Simpson. Not sure who this guy is. Another punch card, sweet. Hey, come here a minute. I'm busy. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. How come? Because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. Ugh. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. And you want my sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. <laughs> I bet your people enjoy my music. Stop Even saying your people, man. The city. What the fuck? I don't think we do. Ah, uh, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're not savages. We're farmers. And we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew up playing Bach. So you're a musician? Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. Perhaps, if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult. For my people, it's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. Really? This will be perfect in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. I think this will look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. 
Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. <laughs> Whatever, dynamites. I paid me 300 for that. Probably just got that handkerchief in a uh, corner shop or something. <laughs> oh no, your mother's flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I <laughs> found it growing near a sewage plant. I used it as a bookmark. Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. I want to speak to Aldo here as well. You want to buy something I've got? Um, hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office, a debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal, I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So now I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You know, uh, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> What a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. Oh. Eh, maybe. You, you never know, dudes. You never know. You could always um, move, uh, move out out there. Get rid of your addictions. Live the simple country life, you know? Some people do that. Get away from the city. Get some peace and quiet, you know? And a memory chip. Nice, right, six more uh, punch cards to go. Oh, uh, wait, what did we get? A suspicious item. Uh, what was that? A remote detonator. This looks like some sort of remote detonator. Uh, we should take this to the authorities. Who are the authorities in the city? Is there only Corpsec? Well, we need to take it somewhere safe. I mean, we can't just press the button, right? I mean, right? It's tempting. Big red button. It's gotta be pushed. <laughs> let's get, uh, let's get a, couple, a cup of joe, though. There's a coffee guy and Neo. I'm not sure who to talk to first. Guess Neo. Oh, there's Danya as well. I saw you looking at me from over there. Oh, for fuck's sake. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like Hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. <laughs> so you're actually... 75. <laughs> yeah, right, well, buddy. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, want to do something? Are you asking me on a date? No, I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Right. Do something. How specific? How enticing. We could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. That's a nice idea. Ew. Oh, well, <laughs> guess Shooting? not. I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. We only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? Better. What kind? Artichoke and Avo from the new hipster place uptown. Ah, oh, you ruined it. Ooh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. <laughs> if I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. <laughs> coffee guy. 
till next time then. Come up with a, a better pickup line, a better dating situation, I guess. Excuse me, I see you sell old stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here, let's see. Hmm, oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all, this is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh, yes. This was played on a Spectrum home computer. 48K. On a Spectrum? Goddamn. You needed an interface to make the joystick work. Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. It's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope, still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now, but we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. Yeah, that's cool. So this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory and the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. We believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? Is that Double Dragon? Metaphorically, it is the, telling the us game that we cannot about? simply fight Urban Decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. There's no real exactly. winning. Exactly. <laughs> it's a nice metaphor. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment. But the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... No, of course. Straight oh, to jail. I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. Yeah, it's uh, probably Double Maybe Dragon. another time. Just the limbs are fine. Nice. Cool, so she's into these old type games. Yeah, it was really fascinating uh, looking back at it, even from uh, this uh, uh, point in time. Like, it's really amazing how technology came to be and how they could record data for, uh, into a magnetic uh, strip. It's really fascinating. If you, have a t if you have some time, look into it. It's like magic, almost. Uh, like, oh, can I go through here? Neo, what's up? Have you got some coffee for me? Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? I would like a Neo Cafe. Uh, let's see. Just a normal coffee. A Nivacino. A special kind of cappuccino for the people of Nivales, made with love and extras. What, like drugs or something? Hot chocolate, soda can. Yeah, just give me That's a good. regular old coffee. Actually, that uh, pretty That's sweet. enough. Thanks for this, Neo. <laughs> give me one of each. Have a spectacular day. Thanks, Neo. She's hyped up on coffee. Let's see. Well, actually. Where's the freaking coffee, though? Hello. Is that's, that you? That's weird. Chemist, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? 
I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Chemist, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it, it's just it's a bit... dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep! Sure. <laughs> okay. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. Oh, Camus. All right, Mr. You silly dog. Tell me what we know about Cora now. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Oh, shit. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. What the hell is sapience? Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example? I checked my balance, and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. The Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exit whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Cora is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the Founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40% Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Korra is commonly discussed appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Cora, computer-operated recycling agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... That could be a thing. No, I said something dumb. Oh, no, you didn't, buddy. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's a, that's a cool little mystery we got going on uh, for ourselves now. Finding out what Cora is. Uh, we know it's a 
basic AI or a mixture of AI and mechanical elements. But uh, what exactly does it do or what's it for? We still have that mystery to find out. Uh, we'll take a quick break here and then when we'll, find, uh, when we'll uh, come back, we'll bring the suspicious item to Corpsec there. Uh, we'll find the rest of the punch cards, I guess. We'll try and we'll continue on with the main mission. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for watching and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye.